Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh last episode we are we were found the Tempest where we right now where we are right now and I'm gonna to look a little bit around more and then we'll go. It's the downstairs thing. Oh, it starts uh, mission. Oops. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I... I'm still learning. Uh... I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized. For a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? Uh... We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Uh, keep dreaming of it all. We're next to uh, No, let's go. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Oh my god! Oh my god! There we go. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. We have our own ship, yay! To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callo, take us in. Mm, uh... Right speed. Godspeed. System Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Bang. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos.
A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Uh... I'm only dead. Confirm loadout. I guess. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Callow. All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? You said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. Uh, you okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No. I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like... Hearing things, other than Sam. Pathfinder? The Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Wow, new world. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Welcome to Eos. Hell. Come on, guys. You can do it. There. Sit us down at this nav point. How to Please. even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. All right, guys. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. Looks like salvage. No. Days ago, no. Uh, uh...
Yeah, I want a grenade. Um, dead. Um, confirm. Um, tech. Ah, not right now. getting emergency power but it's code locked site one issued individual security codes each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol just say we can't open it without codes we can't open it without codes damn it Let's go to map this this is the whole map with our armor side missions Right, um, but I am working on no, not the first murder. No, it's wrong, right? Data pad. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. We suffered our first. No. Uh, Shut up. Do not want to hear it. Beep. Beep. functionality would require an active power relay station that means the antenna's out of power too the logs might tell us what's up with the power relay mm, This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. Ooh. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. It the remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Yeah, one second. Sandstorm radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. No, all right then. Uh. Oh God.
Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. <clears throat> of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. I'll leave the Ket to me. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Up there. <laughs> Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. Really, Ryder? Company. Dude! You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. 
I think they kept a little something in storage. Uh, and you do not do. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Get to a safe location. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site-1 now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site-1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Uh... That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. And now I have my helm back on. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Yay! So after these premier pylons, there are a lot much more radiation. Uh, I want to see what's in here. If walls could talk. Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Wait, you can do that? Normally, it would be impossible. But since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. What's... Holy shit, it works. Can you get audio? Compiling now. We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. But now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Those things must be talking about the cat. Yeah. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mountain, watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first Ket ambush on Site 1. The Ket scouted them out. There's the people. Huh? Uh. There was something very wrong at the second outpost they made. An attack? The radiation? Whatever it was, Site 2 made a special project to handle it. Let's keep it in mind for later. Next building. Oh. Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Oh. You step outside recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. Not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts. Yeah. Uh, 
All those paper on the ground. That was already open. I don't know what this is. We will find out. Right. I think this is for purifying water. That's what? A few hundred tons of steel? And the storm's twisting it? Oh. It's not the way in or something? No. Alright, um, let's go to the same building where I was first. This building when the intern door maybe works right now. been in here but maybe uh, no. alright then <laughs> cryopult this here challenges and the colonists still tried to tough it out they didn't know what they were in for they weren't told sam and i could have helped them this won't happen again a written Another way in here. Does not seem like it. Let's go. Uh, what the heck? Well, what do you know? The outpost research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. Uh, now we build... Uh, We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. Research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Also develop. Oh no.
I need to be level 5 for that. I'm uh, gonna buy that. Uh. Oh, not a container. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Not now. Thought I had my pistol with me. <laughs> Am I now now allowed to do this? Nothing in it is in it. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Hello, pretty girl. Pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Structure up ahead. But that structure will do the next episode, guys. Uh, I hope that you like it. Subscribe to this game. And we will find out what this structure does here. So I'm gonna drive right back now.
What's this? A memory trigger. Ah, got them. Sam, another memory prompt? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Uh -huh. I can find these around here, then, so. But I'm gonna leave it here, guys. I hope that you like it. Oh. I hope that you like it. Subscribe to Sus Gains, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.